start stitching my handles out next. And I have a template. So I've got two leathers here that I can't decide which one I like. So I'm going to make both and then decide which one I want to put on the case. I can always use it on something later if I decide. I've got a green suede and kind of a pink maroon leather and I get my leather scraps at Hobby Lobby uh, Joanne Fabrics and I've cut out my template and placed my pieces where I want them to go. So I'll take the material out of the way and I've got a big slit in this piece of leather so I want to make sure and place them in good spots. I'll cut these apart and stitch them. I've got the green one already cut apart. I'm going to be using, um, this is, I think, Celtec branded nylon size 69 thread because I like a little heavier weight to the top stitching. And I want to use the longest stitch possible when I um, top stitch my handles. For me, I just like that look. And I've used painter's tape to tape it to my leather. I have my regular bobbin thread in. I don't don't change to match my weight on this. It's not that much stitching. And you stitch on the red dotted line. Tape your pattern piece on and just stitch that over. And I do back stitch at the first. I don't know, really don't think I need to, but I do. Longest stitch possible. Follow the red line all the way around. Don't go too fast. I also have a size 16 needle in. you get it um, stitched down you can take scissors and you're going to cut on the black line that goes around once you have that done you want to peel your paper away but you don't want to rip your stitches out so you want to be really careful starting your tear and tear right along the stitch line. And to get the little pieces out, I sometimes use these scissors. And I can't remember what they're called, but I did get them at the Featherweight Shop. They're the scissors that you use to help yourself get your threads um, out of the bobbin area. But they're easier than tweezers for me. piece done. You do the other two and you have the leather to recover your handle with the stitching. Okay, as you clean up, keep your bigger scraps because you can use those where we put our hardware, when we put our hardware back on the case. Um, I'm going to be using bolts and nuts and I for sure don't want my machine to get scratched as I put it in and out of the case. So I'm going to cut little circles out of here 
and glue those over the nut and bolts. So this would be a nice soft thing for your machine to hit if it should happen to hit. So don't throw your scraps away till you're done with your project.